Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on the Fiero again, and as you can tell by the title, we are installing a big brake upgrade. Huh. So yeah, I can't really drive the car right now because I took the brake booster out. Um, yeah. So to take the stock Fiero brake booster out, it is super simple. The only thing holding to the firewall are four 13 millimeter nuts, and what holds it to the master cylinder are two 15 millimeter nuts. And after that, you can just slide it out. You can move this, you can push it slightly forward. You just don't want to break the brake lines, but you can move it just a little bit. And gonna hook your vacuum line. Mine was rerouted. I believe the other one comes out of here, if yours is still in the stock location. And then you have a little bracket down here that goes to this with a 10 millimeter screw on that. Then the last step, on the inside of the car, up under here, there is this, which is on your brake pedal, and on there, there is a pin and two washers, and then there is a actual rod that connects there, and that is what your brake pedal is connected to. So now that you can see how to take this out, let's go and see what we're replacing it with. So my dad recently bought some more truck parts for his old truck project, and on it came an S10 frame, and with that came an S10 brake booster and master cylinder. But he is not using that, so I took the master cylinder, painted it, and now it is here. So we're gonna be swapping out the stock brake booster for this S10 brake booster, which is a popular upgrade that people do. I already started piecing this together, as you can see by this long, absurd rod, but we're gonna get to that. I have to drill out these rivets to get this bracket off of the stock one that I can put on to this so it can mount in the car. But the big issue that I ran into that I was reading about was the length of the rod. On the Fiero Brake Booster, the rod is significantly longer than the one on the S10. Rodney Dickman sells an extension that you thread on and it has the little end on it that you need to go into your brake pedal. But, Mine did not have anything to thread to. It was just a rod just like the Fierro's with the end on it. It was just one solid piece. To lengthen the rod, I used this 3 8 piece right here and I threaded each side of the rod to 3 8 so it can fit inside of here and thread in. And I also have two nuts on either side with washers on it to lock it in place so it won't move. And then just to be safe, I added some thread locker on there as well, just to be safe. Okay, now I need to drill out these rivets on the brake booster to get this bracket off so I can put it on to the new brake booster. We are gonna try and get these off right now. Uh, wish me luck. Now that we have this bracket off of the brake booster, it should slide right over the S10 one, like that. And now we can try and get it installed in the car. Bracket is dried and it fits right on to the S10 brake booster. Now it's gotta find some nuts that will fit on the back of that. All right, I have shaved down the studs I've also tightened the nuts all the way and put Loctite on them. So now this thing is all ready to go into the car. All right, one last final step that we have to do. We have to put this little boot on, this little felt piece. It should slide right down in there. And then we need to put this piece on. There we go. All right, the brake booster is now in. It is sturdy, all four nuts on there and tightened down. 
This one down there is fun, so good luck. <laughs> the only thing I could do was fit an adjustable wrench in there, and I could turn it like barely any at all. And I had to do that for the entire time. It probably took me 10 minutes to do that one nut. <laughs> now, I'm going to attach this bracket, and I'm going to attach the mass cylinder to the brake booster. And just like that, the new brake booster is in, and the master cylinder is connected. I don't have the bracket on because I kind of messed it up. I don't know how, I just, it doesn't fit and it's all bent out of shape. So I'm gonna have to get a new one of those. But right now we're gonna go into the car and connect the pedal. The pedal is hooked up inside and now all we have to do is hook up this vacuum line. And there we go. We are all done with the swap. Now I'm gonna take it around the block, see how it feels and we will see if this was an improvement or not. Okay, I've been driving with the S10 booster in for a couple days now, and I can say that it is an improvement. Um, it doesn't increase the actual braking power, but it brings the feel of the pedal up. I don't really know how to say it. It brings the contact point up, so where before on the stock booster, I would have to push my foot um, almost halfway to the floor before it would actually start braking. And now, right when I start pushing on the pedal, um, brake force is applied. This brake upgrade is super easy to do. You can definitely do it within a couple days. If you are more interested about like the performance aspects and a more depth installation, check out Fiero Austin's video on this as well as Angel Auto's video. They both have really great videos on the S10 brake upgrade. And because of those videos, it actually motivated me to do the swap myself since I had it readily available. So if you find one of these at the junkyard or even buy a new brake booster, this would be a great upgrade for you. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any other questions about this brake upgrade, shoot me a message on Instagram, at Fiero Kyle. I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And without further ado, I will see you in the next video.